is Kevin Butts. I'm here to talk about the Polaris Motor Company. Polaris has far surpassed any of its com competitors such as Articat, Yamaha, Can-Am, etc. You name it, they've outdone it. Polaris is the brand for future buyers and they are only going to continue to do outdo their competitors. So the history behind Polaris is Polaris started out as a snowmobile and farm equipment company in 1954. This was a picture of the first Polaris snowmobile, pretty primitive, with such a large motor in the back. Edgar Heaton and engineer David Johnson believed in personally approving of their products. They would go out and embark in harrowing journeys across snowy wilderness, as you can see here, and test out their products. Edgar Heaton, a few years later, would resign from the company and start what is today Articat. <coughs> Alan Heaton, the brother of Edgar, took control of the company only to face some tough times. After he took control, the company came out with its first front engine, totally revolutionized the snowmobile industry with the front engine in the snowmobile, which you can see down here. <coughs> It was a big failure, failure because it only worked above the lower 48 states. Nobody knows why, but that's it. And Alan and his chief engineer almost lost their lives testing it. They were out on a two-day journey up near somewhere in Alaska. I don't remember quite exactly where. They ran into a storm and they were trapped for nine days and survived. The good news is it performed quite well above the lower 48, but below, good luck getting the rope. The next snowmobile to come out was the Maverick. It was a great success. From 68 to 80, Polaris was bought by, the, by a company named Textron. It's kind of the relationship that AMF and Harley-Davidson used to have back in the day. W. Hall Wendell Jr bought Polaris from the parent company. He saw the snowmobile market was declining and he proceeded to join the ATV market. Polaris first came out with the Scrambler, which is a three-wheel three -wheel version of the ATV. Soon after that, the ATV started to, market started to crash because so many people were having issues with rollovers and deaths occurring on the three-wheel ATV. <coughs> which then paved way for the trail box, which is just below the picture that I have up here. It revolutionized the, the ATV market because it was one of the first four-wheel, four-by-four ATVs on the market. Then came the side-by-side, -side, which is just below it. It's a six-wheel, what uh, Polaris calls it the Ranger. So let's review the timeline. In 1954, Polaris' first snowmobile was created in Rousseau, Minnesota. Then in 1961, President Edgar Heaton resigns to found Articat. Brother Allen takes over. In 1968, Fuji agrees to make motors and Textron buys Polaris. W. Wendell Jr. takes over, arranges independent purchase from Textron. First Polaris ATV in 1985, the Trail Box four wheeler and the Scrambler three wheeler. In 1988, Constant Degree regulates ATV business and David Johnson retires because of all the incidents with his three-wheel ATVs. In 1991, the new plant in Oscar, Oscalo, Wisconsin opens, Polaris enters the watercraft market. <coughs> in 1994, Spirit Lake, Iowa, a new plant is opened. In 1996, the Polaris Sportman is introduced. In 1997, the first victory motorcycle is manufactured. In 1998, the first Ranger six-wheelers introduced in 2000, its cousin, the later four-wheel Ranger came out. In 2003, the first electronic fuel injection Sportsman 700 came out. In 2004, Polaris gains a contract with the military. In 2005, the Defense Division is created and KTM is purchased by Polaris, which is a dirt bike company and motorcycle company. In 2007, the Polaris RZR or Razor 800 is introduced. And in 2008, the millionth sportsman manufactured 
and introduce Scott Wine as CEO. In 2012, Polaris becomes the biggest seller in AT of ATEs in North America. So let's look at the lineup. The sport fan division, which is the picture that I have above the top picture, is their basic four-wheeler. It comes in 500 cc's or to 800 cc's, which is a cubic inch motor, and they usually put out about 44 horsepower, which is quite a bit for an ATV. They all come standard with electronic fuel injection, which is unrivaled because nobody has that standard. You usually have to pay for that as an added bonus. The new Sportsman's also have dual overhead cams, and it's the only one in its class with power steering and the rest of these features. So the Ranger RZR is the top picture. This new piece of material is groundbreaking. It's got a 1,000 cc motor which push out, puts out 107 horsepower, which nobody in the industry can match. It's got walker headed suspension, which is by far some of the best suspension you can buy. It also has dual overhead cams and 13 inches of ground clearance. <coughs> this also has power steering. Next comes the snowmobile line. They have a new rear shock configuration where the shock is not in between here. It's actually put on the outside of the track. <coughs> it also has standard electronic fuel injection, a brand new chassis, and pro steer skis. In the back, it has Walker Evans needle shocks, which uh, Polaris is going to on all their models. On top of these best-selling Polaris models, they make a few vehicles for the government, as well as Victory and Indian brand motorcycles. And they are also fairly priced because they are probably two to three thousand dollars cheaper than any of the competitors. So what's next? Now Polaris sits on top of the motorsports world. Scott Wine, the current CEO, took the reins of the company in a declining market <coughs> and made it massive strides, gobbling up the market share and making Polaris one of the hottest properties in the business world. How long will this continue? Frankly, the company's success <coughs> is no mystery to us. It's all about enthusiasts making products for enthusiasts. As long as Polaris sticks to the identity as an innovator, and as long as the company, from the early assembly line workers to the management, still believes in its product enough to strain themselves <coughs> on an ice flow to make a, make a point, players will continue on, to be on the top. So if you are in the need for a little fun and excitement, head down to your local Polaris dealer and snag one of these great, fun models. Thank you. Okay, what does our distinguished panel of experts have to say about Mr. Butts? Um, what, who goes? You go first. I, I don't know. I thought I was talking about that. Go ahead. What I liked about it was that you gave the history behind the company. Like, I never heard of the, well, I probably heard of it, uh, players, but I never knew that much about it and that was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. I really like to organize you and the information you provided and really like your program. I thought the timeline was sick. Um, how you included that in and showed how far they've come in a little amount of years. I mean, little amount, technically years. I mean, like four. <laughs> it's kind of, and um, just the organization was really sick. I want that Ranger. You know, I'd like to make my juice better. But I want the Ranger for sure. It's really sick. You're really detailed. It's, it was nice to, like, I enjoyed my Polaris, my resort, but it's, it was nice to, to see the, the timeline and, and understand the origin. Okay, any other comments?